has to be something that would sway you to not feeling any connection with me anymore. I just don't understand it. Nothing. I just like now that I like I thought about it. I just I really don't feel any connection with you. Like I'm just. I don't know. Like, I feel like we're on different pages. I feel like, like, I'm just over it, and I'm, like, I'm not... I mean, I'm attracted can to I, you. You're handsome, but, like, I just... I'm not... I'm not into it. Can I see you tonight? No. Potentially swayed you away from how you feel right now. No, because that's making me not feel how I want to feel. What is that going to do? Yo, what the fuck happened? Nothing happened. I'm just... I made up my mind, and I'm not gonna lead you on. That's not me. Was it Sunday? Was it Sunday? No, no. You're not oh gonna my get. God. Yeah, like the like the fuck, bro. All right, All right bro. I'm, honestly, like you're the best I ever had. Can I just say one thing? What? I'm downtown Santa Monica right now. Give me one shot to meet you right now. No. <sighs> so difficult. All right, so. See, and now I'm difficult, so where where do we match there? Where do we match? What happened? Nothing happened. I thought about it. I came to my senses and I realized that I'm not into it. Alright, let's go. I can't drive. Okay guys, so this originally was supposed to be like a vlog. I was gonna vlog my day, like what I was doing. But as I sat here, got a couple of text messages. Hold on. So this video is going to be dedicated to boys. Girls out there, this is going to be a video you're going to want to sit your boyfriend down and say you're going to watch this motherfucking video and you're going to learn because the things that guys think that they can get away with are not okay at all. At all. At all. Especially when it comes to dating a girl. I don't care what kind of girl you are. Any kind of girl. Boys need to know the boundaries of yes, things you can say, things you can do, and how far you can take certain... Oh, I spit everywhere. I can't even talk. I need a glass of water. Hold on. Water break. When I drink water, that's when you know I'm about to go in. <laughs> like, I'm about to go in. Someone's about to get a new asshole ripped open. <laughs> Ew, that's a gross analogy. Someone is about to get a new black eye. No! I'm going, bitch. Oh my god. When I'm coming through, you stay aside. You stay in your lane. I need to come through. The bitch wants to look at me, so look at me and the camera, girl. How about that one? If you're going to look at both, you're going to look at both. You know what I mean? You're going to look at me and you're going to look at the camera, bitch, if you want to be nosy. Instead of sitting down, talking to the camera, this is going to be action, real life, thinking in the heat of the moment, talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one while I live my freaking life in Southern California. So first things first, boys... Guys, men, that's just, I don't even date boys, I date men. That's why, because I, I feel like boys are 10 times worse. I am speaking for us women, whether we're genetics, whether we're trans, whether we're gay, what? I thought that was a cop, my bad. Whether whatever women we are out there, it applies to all of you men out there, everyone. So don't. That was a police officer. Yep, that was a police officer. First of all, you cannot think that by you approaching me, complimenting me, I want to converse with you. I'm sorry, that is not how it's going to work. You can't just say you have some fine ass lashes or I love your eyebrows. Thanks. Thank you. That recently happened to me because he 
initiated a compliment. He thought that was an initiation for a long conversation to find out about my life, to think that I was interested. No. And then he even had the audacity to be like, you want to go catch a movie in my house? What? So you give me a compliment. You say my eyelashes are fine as fuck. You say my eyebrows are drawn on for the gods. Or you say that like, oh, I love you have a nice bottom. You have a nice body. I'm sorry, boys. Just because you give us a compliment does not mean that we're yours or we want to initiate a conversation. You know what? Come up with a better compliment. Why don't you talk about, you know what? I love your confidence. That would be a pretty start for like boys hitting on women. I love your confidence. I can see your confidence tonight. Girls want to hear that. We love when people can see our confidence. Why don't you come at a girl and tell her, you know what? I love your style. Instead of saying, I love your shoes and the way those jeans fit your ass. We're not dating yet. You're not married to me. You're not my boyfriend. Don't compliment our jeans and say, oh, you have a nice ass, a fine ass inside those jeans. Excuse me? No, you're not going to do that. And I think that's the initiation of us sleeping together, of us becoming friends, of us getting to know each other. It's not going to happen like that. Whether we meet you out, whether we meet you on Tinder, whether we meet you on a dating app, you do not message us and say DTF. You do not message us and say Netflix and chill. You do not ask us out on a date and then say how about I get some wine, you come over to my house, and we can watch some movies and hang out. Why don't you just go ahead and paraphrase it and say, why don't you come over to my house so I can date rape you and get on with my, my life and move on to the next girl that I want to do the same thing to? No, you don't do that, boys. We are not toys. Women, in general, are not toys. Men need to respect ladies a little bit freaking more than all of this DTF, Netflix, and chill. Motherfucking, your, your eyes are pretty. You have a big, fine ass. You have big, nice tits. Like, excuse me? Even if, even if there is a girl out there, and I'm speaking for everyone, even myself, even if, Let's say a girl dressed provocative. She was showing her cleavage. She was wearing some fine ass jeans that showed her nice ass and shit. That is no reason to come up to her and come at her dirty. Come at her crooked. And come at her fucking bent out of shape. Come at her with some intelligence. Approach her with some confidence. Come at her with something, you know, lavish. Come at her with something hot. Come at her with something low-key successful. Have a head on your shoulders when you even think about approaching a girl or coming at her with compliments and thinking that you're going to get into her pants. It's not always going to work like that. What does a bitch honk at me for? Bitch, I'm on a rant. Don't honk at me, bitch. I have insurance. I'll hit your ass. This recently happened to one of my friends and I witnessed all of it and it was so embarrassing and I stuck up for her. I think I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Anyways, I saw what happened and it pissed me off. Basically, one night we're out. I think it was a dinner party. This guy falls in love with her, whatever. Asked her for her number. Full on just says, yo, you're so gorgeous. Whatever, can I have your number? My name is Phil. Uh, ill. My name is Phil. Takes his number. The next day, they're texting the whole day. He's telling her, can you please come out here tonight? I'm hosting this. I really want you to be there. This and that. And she's saying, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Like, I would love to go. I would love to, like, be there, hang out, whatever, whatever. I think that's so sweet that you're inviting. Next thing, we forget about her being invited, whatever. But we end up ending up at the same place he was supposed to host this thing at. So... We go to this table, we go to this booth, we're having fun, doing our thing. I see this cute boy, I go up to him, he starts dancing with me, whatever, whatever. My girlfriend pulls me aside, she goes, hey, I think that's the guy from the other night that like, told me all those cute, like, nice complimented things, tried getting me to go to his house, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, no, it's not. Like, that guy's name was this. She was like, well, why don't you low-key ask him what his name is and turn around and come tell me. And I was like, Okay, I guess I can do that. So I went ahead and low-key, while we're dancing and he's sweet-talking in my ear, going in with the compliments, I go, um, I'm Demi, by the way. What is your name? And he goes, Phil. I turn around and tell my girlfriend. I'm like, he said his name is Phil. She goes, are you kidding me? Like, he's seen me here this whole time. The other day he told me A, B, C, D, E, F, G of what, you know, how beautiful and gorgeous I was and how he wanted to get to know me and how he wanted to take me out and how he wanted me to go over to his house yesterday and blah, blah, blah. And then I turn around and say, oh, Phil, I want you to meet my friend, Blank. He turns around and he goes, Phil, my name is David. In my face, 
introduces himself as David when he totally when he totally just told me another freaking name. Her face broke. She said, no, you're not going to do that. No, I'm sorry. You're not going to do that and pretend like you don't know me. She grabbed me. I grabbed her. I looked at him. I said, no, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. There's this boy, this man. There's this man that I've been kind of talking to, you know, here and there. He tells me everything I want to hear. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, motherfucking I, N, G, K, Y, X, L, M, N, O, P. Says everything I've ever wanted to hear. And then he hits me with a, why don't you come over tonight and we can like chill. My roommates went to sleep. Your roommates went to sleep. You want me to come over and hang out with you? And this would be the second date? The first date I had to, I had to tell you I wanted to go to the movies and to dinner or whatever. The second date, you think that I'm just going to come over to your house? Like, you, do, you, you guys think that us girls don't know what coming over to your house means. Unless that's what you want, woman. If that's what you want, girls, go ahead. All for you. Go do what you want. If a girl initiates that, more power to you, guy. You got exactly what you wanted. And she's going to be crying to her best friend tomorrow and the next day and the next day and for the rest of the week. Because she texted you and the text message turned green. It's no longer blue. Oh, I hit myself in the eye. It's no longer blue. I'm not bashing any gentlemen out there. Not all men are the same. I will say it right now, and I repeat myself again. Not all men are the same. But it's starting to become a circumstance where all of this, all of these men and boys are starting to play the same riddle, the same game. And you're not going to roll the dice and play the same game with me when you hit jackpot. I'm sorry. Not all girls deserve to be treated, I, in my opinion, no girl deserves, deserves to be treated like that. But if that's what she's displaying herself as, then that, I don't know. I have no motherfucking comment for that. But boys, you need to approach women with more, what is the word? I don't even know the motherfucking word. You just, these games have got to stop. Treat a girl how you treat your mom. How about that one? You need to treat a girl how you treat your mom. So enough with the bullshit. Enough with the the derogatory and like the nasty statements. Girls don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear the nastiness. In what world do you live in that you think you can talk to ladies like that? In what world do you think that just because you approach them with a compliment, you own them? Or in what world just because you send them a drink, you think that you're going home with them? Where is the competition of fighting for a girl these days? Where is the competition of, you know, really wanting a girl so bad and doing everything you can, whether she tells you no, whether she can't, you, you send her flowers, you, you call her, you leave a voicemail, you text her, you tell her how you actually feel, you tell her how you want to take her out to dinner, you tell her how you want to take her on a trip. Like, where is all of that? Like, it's lacking. Cherish your women and treat them like a trophy. You should treat all your girls, women, any girl, any woman like a trophy because she is a trophy and she deserves to feel like a trophy girls i hear girls cry so much about how they just want to be married and just want to be in relationships but they can't stop being a hoe they can't stop letting these men run train on them they can't stop letting these men control them and do things to them and think that they're theirs and you know play them literally play them like monopoly put an end to it it's done men treat your woman right come at them with some brains come at them with some ambition come at them with some formation and that pretty much was my rant for today i'm over it i've had it above and beyond into infinity and beyond girl i want to honk my horn anywho girls more of the story respect yourself set some grounds and boys step your pee step your pussy up boys step your pussy up whether whatever what kind of girl it is whether it is a genetic girl whether it's a transgender girl whatever whatever kind of girl it is they all deserve to be treated the same with respect and with class so don't come at them crooked anymore think with the head on your shoulders and don't think with your head below that's all i have to say anywho thank you guys so much for watching my rant it's actually my opinion of what boys should be doing if girls and guys if you don't agree that's okay carry on shashay be gone but you came to my motherfucking channel to listen to what i had to motherfucking say so you got to hear what i had to say i'm here for you sister put your foot down set some morals and think highly of yourself because you deserve so much more if you're being mistreated by anyone and anybody i love you so much i didn't get my nails done this shit is embarrassing until next time live your life 
the fullest capacity.